Listen to me. If you didn't rob that bank, then you knew about it, which makes you an accomplice. So if you want to walk out of here today, I suggest you- Okay, now you listen to me. If you think there's a DA in the state of Nevada who'd be willing to make sense of this to the jury, then we have a show to perform. And you, Agent Rhodes, have a drawing board to get back to. Is this your first date? What? No, I mean, obviously, you guys don't know each other well, if at all. But, like, there is a palpable tension in this room. And before you get involved, you should consider the fact that she has a lot of big secrets. And I know that the first one is this. This is your first time off the desk, isn't it? You should have said something to him. This is a weird way for you to find out. You're literally begging to be arrested. You know that? If it means you actually would, but you won't. Because if you did, then it means that you and the FBI and your friends at Interpol believe at an institutional level of magic. The press would have a field day, and we would be even more famous than we already are. And you would look like idiots more than you already are. Well, not you, but him, right? You have what we like to call in the business, nothing up your sleeve, and you know it. Do not draw him in and then dump him, because abandonment is a big area for him. Mommy, daddy, you have big daddy issues. Okay, that's enough. I'll tell you what, your average therapist is gonna charge you two, three hundred for this sesh. I'll take a tenner. Okay, later, if you're still feeling generous, I'll still take a tenner. You wanna know who sat in that chair before you? Mob bosses, murderers, and thieves. You wanna know who put them there? The person sitting right in front of you. So I warn you, I can maintain my resolve much longer than you can maintain that phony arrogance. And the instant I see even the slightest crack in that smug facade, I will be all over you like- Like wine rice? Sorry, that's unfair. Now let me warn you, because no matter what you think you might know, I will always be one step, three steps, seven steps ahead. And even when you think you're catching up, we'll be right behind you. And at no time will you be anywhere other than exactly where I want you to be. Because the closer you think you are, the less you'll actually see.